In today's video, I'm going to teach you my favorite way to play zone coverage in Madden 24, and it is a concept known as roll coverage. Now, if you've never heard what ro roll coverage is, essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be rolling over our safeties to different types of formational strengths to be able to take away things like corner routes, crossing routes, and even seam streaks and short corners. One of the best concepts in the game this year is this bunch strong offset because of the play, and really because of the play corner strike. Corner strike is such a good play this year, and uh, we're just going to explain why why I'm going to jump out into a cover four because I can access all of the coverages. And basically what you're going to see here is even if I'm baseline press, even if I have a deep out zone KO over there on the right side, if I set up this combo like this right here, then what you're going to see is this corner route to the right side is always going to get open underneath that outside quarter zone. So the best way to defend that specific route is actually to use, utilize a pressed cloud flat. So if I'm in cover cover two uh, drop, I'm going to shade out, shade over top, maybe drop an extra flat over there just for um, just for some help. But what you're going to see is now that's going to take away the short corner. As you can see, the short corner is taken away, but the route that's open is actually this deeper corner route over the top of the def of the defense. So how do you stop both, right? And this is actually something this year. Um, kind of uniquely that even double Mabel actually struggles to defend this um, double Mabel. One of the better ways to play defense in this year's game is actually going to really struggle against this concept. And, and, and the reason really why um, is due to the, due to the deep half. So what you'll see here, if I set up a double Mabel coverage, rerun that same route combo, because we are to the wide side of the field, you're going to see that that corner route oftentimes can actually get over the top, as you can see, of a 30-yard cloud flat, even if you back it off. So what are you left to do on the defensive side of the ball? You're left to use the concept roll coverage. Now, this is the featured concept in my Dollar Defensive ebook. If you guys want to learn my entire defense, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10. It will make you a, a better Madden player. We've released a ton of different updates to our offensive and defensive ebooks. You get over 16 different ebooks, and uh, the dollar one is one of those ebooks. So if you want to get access to that, again, the link's going to be down in the description below. So the way that you defend this is, but is through utilizing a concept known as roll coverage. And the way that I like to do this is actually we're going to put everything back on default. Literally everything is on default here. And we're going to come out in this play. We have our auto flip off. We're going to come out in this play, cover three cloud show two. Now the cover three cloud show two has this already set up within the play. You just got to make a couple of minor adjustments to uh, make this really, really advantageous. So all you're going to do, and this is what a roll concept is, you're rolling. So this guy is responsible for the deep sideline on the left. This guy is responsible for the middle. So he's rolling to the middle of the field here. And then this guy is going to roll over the top and it creates a nice little bracket on the sideline between the cloud flat and the outside third defender. So the main vulnerability actually to this is not having the proper abilities in the proper positions. The best ability set up for this is to have a deep out zone KO at your safety position, a deep out zone KO on your backside corner, and then a deep in and mid zone KO at the middle of the field safety position. What this allows you to do is it allows you to really take away this uh, big corner, little corner concept. So all we're going to do is we're just going to press our defense, pinch our defensive line, and then I like to crash inside and blitz my user. And then the only thing you – you don't have to do this. Uh, but it's an extra step. But what I like to do is I like to put a vertical hook here on the right. And this curl flat defender, if the running back is not over there, I'll either put him in a vertical hook or – a hard flat. Okay. You can leave him on the curl flat if you want, but I like, um, I really like to utilize the hard flat. So, okay. So basically how this is going to work is the cloud flat will defend the short corner. The outside third will defend the deeper corner out and the middle third has to get over to the middle of the field to take away the seam streak. So as you can see, this plays it really, really, really well. Somehow we still complete it because it's man 24 but it plays the concept well. Let's jump into replay and explain kind of some of the weaknesses of this. So the main weakness of this defense is this throw right here. If you can throw this 
This is the main weakness. And I'll show you how you could throw this on the, even from a formation like this. But the short corner route is taken away. The deep corner route, while they might think they can throw this, this is going to play. He's going to be rolling into this, and he has deep out zone knockout, which should allow him to actually KO that if they throw that. So those are some of the main, you know, best routes in the game. Now, you might say, what are some other things we can do to make this a little bit better? Well, what I like to do is bring, kind of cheat a little bit. I'll bring this, because there's no seam, seam uh, streak threat on the left, I'll actually bring this guy kind of more to the middle. I'll bring this guy more down into the side to kind of like cheat the coverage. And the other thing you can do is put an outside quarter over here to the left. And what that's going to do is it's going to do a better job of defending that solo wide receiver side seam streak. Uh, one of the more popular things people will do to try to counter this is they will go to a setup like this. So if they go to a setup like this, what I like to do is I'm actually going to take the three rec and put him in a deep middle third, and we're going to tweak it. And we're going to basically make the defense look like this. So the purpose of doing this, and you could also, if you wanted to honestly, just do this. This is perfectly fine as well. Um, but what you will see is by manning up that running back, the C route will get covered a lot more. And then also it will help that middle third know, hey, you need to get over there to the tight end. Another really underrated adjustment for when people are doing that, where they're motioning uh, the running back out when we're using a, cover a, a coverage concept like this would be to actually take the curl flat defender and put him into a seam flat. Um, it's one of the more hidden adjustments in the game. Not a lot of people know about this adjustment, but basically what you'll see is the seam flat will kind of like manipulate this and you'll actually play almost perfect defense on that outside corner or that outside C route. Last little tip I want to give you for this. If you want to play with your match coverage on, I would get off of base align. So if you want to play with your match coverage on, I would go ahead and take this off of base align. And let's say, um, and you could certainly do this because you have the, uh, the, you still have good alignment within dollar. Okay. So you see, this is what we get. So the beauty of this is now there is a matching principle within your defense. Your vertical hook has a matching principle. Your uh, three rec has a matching principle. Your curl flats have matching principles. So uh, what you'll see here is let's say they run, um, you know, this outside C route on the left. What you'll see is you'll actually get a nice match from this and you'll actually be able to defend that really, really well, even, even probably better than an outside quarter. So if you are doing that adjustment, this is where a lot of pro players will, or just advanced players that are competent, that know what they're doing, they'll motion out the running back. And what, you, what you'll see is um, if, even if your match coverage is on, you're, um, you're going to have a, a harder time defending that. Now, you might get that knockout right there. A lot of times that's actually a catch this year. So this is where, again, we can make adjustments to uh, and base it around where they can actually threaten us. So if they run a combo like that, they're now threatening us, threatening, threatening us in the seam area of the field. So we have uh, this seam streak. All we're going to do is we're just going to seam flat this right here. So essentially, if there's a tight end drag route, then what we would do is we would just cut the drag. And as you can see, it actually takes away that backside concept. So these are some ways that you can really utilize roll coverage to take away some of the most popular formations in the game. And based off of the tendencies of what they're doing, whether you want to use a seam flat, a hard flat, a curl flat, that is all up to you guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown on roll coverage. And if you want to get my entire $1.32 defensive ebook, it's available by joining the Patreon for just $10. It'll get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.